Okay, so this patient's got a nicely dilated pelvic seal system with some atrophy of lower pole cortex. We're just going to try and enter the cortex just above, the calyx just above, and we're putting in a large bore 12 French nephrostomy tube for long-term drainage for presumed infection. So we're just going to put some local anaesthetic in so there'll be a sharp scratch and a little bit of a sting, okay? Just making a small little nick. Okay. So this is an 18 gauge diamond tip non-cutting needle, which tends to use for nephrostomies. It's very rigid, uh, it doesn't bend very much and goes exactly where you want it to. It's easily visible on ultrasound. Bit of pushing now. So just decompressing the system slightly before we add any contrast that minim minimizes the chances of any bacteremia. I'm going to inject neat contrast because this is a, a dilated system, so the contrast is going to be diluted immediately. Just see it going free into the collecting system. Okay, so we're just putting in a Benson soft floppy tip guide wire, which we're then going to change for a stiffer wire so we can dilate the trap slightly to put in a larger bore nephrostomy tube. And this is a Kumpe catheter which has a short angle tip, a little bit like a biliary manipulation catheter. I'm just going to insert this so that we can then steer the guide wire into the renal pelvis. Okay, so the guide wire has been manipulated down into the renal pelvis and the upper part of the ureter with this angle catheter. Okay, so just injecting a little bit more contrast just to confirm a position within the renal pelvis. Now we're just putting in a extra stiff guide wire which will give us more support to dilate the tract. So we're just putting on an 8 French dilator just to start the dilatation of the tract because it's a 12 French nephrostomy we're going to finally put in. So just rotating the dilator in. Okay, it's so a 10 French dilator. Right, it's a cooked 12 French locking pigtail catheter, uh, large lumen, multiple side holes, can be inserted using either a central metal stiffener or using a plastic stiffener, which is just there, which allows a lot more flexibility. So once the tip of the catheter is into the collecting system, we can unlock the metal stiffener and slide the catheter over the wire. That will coil up within the renal pelvis. Okay, so now we're in position, we can lock the pigtail catheter by pulling the, the thread through, rotating it round a couple of times, and then pushing it flat. And that clamps it into place. And we then can fully decompress the system. Okay, we'll just put a bung onto the end of the catheter just for a few seconds whilst we put the flange on. And we leave these catheters in a bag with the flange, which means they're easier to manage and they're much less likely to be inadvertently pulled out. Even with a locking mechanism, these catheters can actually be pulled out by accident. So just place the end of the tube through the valve in the bag and it's just clipped into place.